Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, today I am going to start with a new topic which is elements, compounds and mixture. So in this session I am going to discuss the general characteristics of element, compound and mixture. So friends, as we know, there are millions of substances which are actually known to us. So to understand them systematically, they have been classified into different ways. As you have seen in my previous sessions about the classification of matter, in which I have classified into physical and chemical state. So let me give you a brief structure of the previous session so that you can learn this session more effectively. So friends, we all know that anything which occupies space and has a mass is called matter. Let's write down anything which occupies space and has a mass is a matter. So if I classify the matter into these segments, I classify it into physical state of matter and chemical state of matter. Where in physical state, we study three states of matter with solid, liquid and gas. And in chemical state of matter, we learned elements, compounds and mixture. So to talk about the element, compound and mixture, let me give you a brief definition about all these trees with the help of examples. So let me give you an example of your classroom. Let's suppose this is a classroom. This is also a, another classroom. And this is a one more classroom. Here there is a student of ninth grade sitting in this classroom. Right? All students with 9th grade. Here we have student of 9th grade. Also we have students of 10th grade. And in 3rd classroom we have 10th grade student, we have 9th grade student, we also have 8th grade student and respectively we have 7th grade student in a classroom. Right? So, if I call these one of the student as an atom, let's suppose a student representing a, an atom. So, here in this classroom, you can see same number of atoms or students. So this classroom, I say it is an element, right? Respectively, if I see the second classroom, we have equal number of students with different atoms. This is a 10th grade atom. That is a student. 
and this is a ninth grade one. But you can see here we have an equal proportion. It is not really necessary if you have an equal proportion. I was just giving you an example about the compound. So this you can represent as a compound where there is a different kind of kind of atoms or say students in a classroom or you can say here it's a compound so this classroom is said to be a compound so in third one it's a quite different picture here you can see many different great students without any proportion that is without any estimated proportion in students are present in a classroom so this is a basically a mixture so this classroom I represent as a mixture so here you can see I have compared a classroom to an element compound and mixture how by representing per student as an atom so what we conclude by this let's take in a definition now let's give in a proper definition so what is an element element is nothing but a pure substance having same kind of atom right and it cannot be converted into anything simpler than itself by any physical and chemical processes right and I, if I talk about the compound it is the combination of two or more elements chemically joined together right so this is a basic important thing which differentiate compound from a mixture that compound are chemically joined together in a compound and if we talk about the mixture it is the combination of elements compounds not chemically joined together and very important they can be in any proportion right so this is basically a brief definition which I have given you to make you understand about the element compound and mixer so that you can learn about the classification of all these three kinds of matter if I want to give an example I can give an example of element like uh, carbon is an element hydrogen if I talk about the compound you can take an example of water you can take an example of carbon dioxide right 
and if you take an example it's a very good example that is we can see here in air we can see many kind of dust particles are there gases are there oxygen is there carbon dioxide is there carbon monoxide is there nitrogen is there it's just a mixture of everything together so friends let's come to the session now so before I have given you all the brief I want you to learn about elements compound and mixture by their own words so let's learn by the words of the matter let's take a look hi hi I am oxygen and I am an element I am made of same kind of atom friends I have my own melting and boiling point I cannot be broken down further and yes I can take part in chemical reactions so I am an element, I am made of same kinds of atom. I have my own melting and boiling point. I cannot be broken down further, you he. I can take part in chemical reaction. So friends, you have seen here, element is saying its own words about their own characteristics. So let's brief out the general characteristics of element that is each element consists of only same kinds of atom an element is composed of either same kinds of atom or of molecules made up of same these atoms it has its own fixed melting and boiling point an atom is the smallest part of an element an element may chemically react with another element or compound and last but not the least, an element cannot be broken down into simpler substance by any physical or chemical means. So friends, you have seen here, we have discussed about the characteristics of the element which is actually applied to all the elements. So let's see what the compound has to say about themselves. Hi friends, I am hydrogen, I am an element. Hi friends, I am hydrogen, I am an element. Hello, I am an oxygen, I am an element. We hydrogen combine together. So we are now two. We help and shake hands with oxygen, and now we are a compound. So friends, now we are compound, and we are one molecule of water. We are now chemically combined together. So we are. Two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen to make one molecule of uh, water. Bye. So friends, you have seen here what compounds has to say about themselves. So let's see the general characteristics of compound here. A compound contains atom of two or more elements combined by chemical forces it is a homogeneous composition the elements in a compound are present in a fixed ratio by masses the properties of compound are different from those of the element of which they are made of <laughs> separation of compound into its element it's only possible by chemical means 
during the formation of compound energy is exchanged that is energy is i either released or it's absorbed a compound has its own melting and boiling point so friends now we have seen about the total characteristics of compound so let's see what a mixture has to say about themselves yuhi i am a cup syrup and i am a mixture I'm a colgant. Do you have a colgant at your home? You know that I'm a mixture? Oh, I'm a petrol. And I'm a mixture. I'm a mixed liquid. Lots of milk. Wow. I'm also a mixture. I'm a mixture of Nutrition. Oh, I'm also a mixture. I'm around yourself. You can feel me. But I'm a mixture. So friends, let's see now the general characteristics of mixture. A mixture consists of two or more substances that exist together without any chemical forces acting on them. It may be homogeneous or heterogeneous. It can have its own component in varying proportion. The individual component decides the property of the mixture. The component of the mixture can be separated by the physical method. The melting and boiling point is not fixed. So friends, here you have seen all the three general characteristics of the element compound and mixture so here I end up my session now it's your turn to do a small activity you just have to list down five examples of element compound and mixture and compare the characteristics of them thank you so friends in next session let's meet with mixture and its type thank you